I, look, I like Jeff Saturday, um, former center, played for the Colts. Cool, cool dude. You know what I'm saying? He's one of them fat guys, funny fat guy, kind of look like Peter Griffin, kind of guy you would, one of those good old boys that you have a beer with. That's what they say, right? But um, he just got this job. So the Colts fired uh, Frank Wright, the head coach they had, midseason fired. They panicked after they lost to the Patriots. Um, fired their head coach. And Jeff Saturday, who was just on ESPN last week, he was on ESPN, NFL Live. He was on Get Up. He's sitting there, and then all of a sudden, it comes across the screen. He's the new interim coach. And everybody's like, hold up. No, Jeff Saturday has zero coaching uh, history. He hasn't coached on any level, any level. Pop Warner, middle school, high school, collegiate, pro. So he has no credibility as a coach. And I know he was a good, really good center, and he won a championship with Peyton Manning. He wasn't a perennial pro bowler like that. He wasn't an all pro. How much credibility is he going to have in that locker room just based off him being a fan favorite? And he was a consultant of the team, they said. So I'm like, hold up. Ryan Clark is is, is still cool with Mike Tomlin and a lot of people in the Pittsburgh organization. But if Mike Tomlin was to get fired midseason, he wouldn't. But if he was... Would the Steelers just randomly call up Ryan Clark and say, hey, can you be our coach for the rest of the year? I doubt that. You know, like the Rooney rule is a joke. Um, you got people on that network like Lewis Reddick, who's been interviewed for several general management positions. He never gets the job. And right now, Jeff Saturday is benefiting from white privilege in the workforce every day we see and in the NFL, the good old boy system. I mean, I don't even know how he was able to breach his contract with ESPN. How serious are these contracts where you could just breach your contract and just say, yeah, uh, I know I got obligations here with Disney, but I got to go coach the, uh, you know, the coach next Sunday. We got a game like that's wild. You know, like Pat McAfee did the same thing. I like Pat McAfee. Cool, dude. He had his own podcast. He does it live every day. He does WWE commentary. He does uh, the ESPN, so ESPN signed him to do college game day every Saturday, and they travel the country every week there in a different city. McAfee basically told WWE and Vince McMahon, uh, I'm going to go work for ESPN for the football college season. I'll see you guys in six months. And it's just less crazy to me how these white guys are able to just maneuver like this freely in the work world, and it's like it's nothing. And it's like, bro, brothers can't move like that. Like, even Stephen A, and I don't even like Stephen A like that, but even he was complaining he's, he should be, he's underpaid compared to most people who are the face of TV networks. He got a point. When you on, like, seven different shows every day, you know, he, he should be making more money than he is. But, I mean, the way that these guys can just maneuver and just do whatever they want on the fly is crazy. When you connect it, you connect it. You know what I mean? So Jeff Saturday is just going to up and leave ESPN, at least temporary, temporarily, and then go coast to coast. And they got a game Sunday. I don't know who they playing. Uh, the season's over anyway. It doesn't matter. And even if you overlook the uh, the racial undertone, this guy's in that locker room and guy's like, man, who what the what? A guy who's never coached before is going to co- What is he going to do? Is he going to like just over, be the overseer? Like, who's going to really be the one running this shit? Who's going to be calling the plays who, on, on offense? Who, you know what I mean? We, you definitely know Jeff Saturday's not running anything on defense. It, it, that's just crazy. The privilege that he got, the way he could just do that. And I don't see any other black uh, person on that network that could just up and leave and get a, a job off, of, off the couch like that. Most of the times when a head coach gets fired midseason, you know, the interim coach is like an offensive coordinator or someone, an assistant coach who's already there. Not some random person that's just a consultant. With the, and, they, and mind you, they said he's a consultant for the team. That could be a nonsense title that they just threw out there just to have a little bit of credibility for the hire. He's still cool with Jim Irsay, the owner, and a lot of people in the organization. But the consultant, that's not even a real position or a real title. You know, they just came up with that on the fly to give it some credibility. But that's crazy. The Colts could even do that. I didn't even know you could like, man, like I say, this is white privilege in the workforce. 
How many times do you know? I know white guys who got jobs. They have no experience in. They just know the right people. And that's what you're seeing with Jeff Saturday. Jeff Saturday has zero experience as a head coach, and he's going to be a head coach. And it's a lot of white guys, a lot of, you know, people <laughs> in this workforce that are doing jobs like that, high-quality paid jobs. They just happen to know the right people. That's just the way of life out here, and you've seen it, you know, plain as day. Uh, and, and Jeff's going to take a lot of heat for that. And like I said, he's a cool dude, but, hey, he's accepting his white privilege right now. He knows it. This is what it is. You know, and, it, and the Rooney rule and when Brian Flores sued the NFL earlier this year, it's stuff like this is exactly what Brian Flores was talking about. Y'all are going to take somebody that's on national television every day, an analyst, Say he's a consultant, turn him into a head coach, no experience. Meanwhile, you got black assistant coaches. Some of these guys been on staff for 10 years, still never got the head coach job. Barely could get an interview. And then when these black coaches get fired from head coaching jobs, uh, they get demoted back to coordinator. Leslie Frazier was a head coach for like two years. Now he's back to being a coordinator. Raheem Morris, same thing. It's a bunch of them. Steve Wilkes. It's like a, a cycle. I mean, even in the NBA, Steve Nash got fired. That's not the way they broke the news. You know what they say? The Brooklyn Nets and Steven Nash have mutually parted ways. That's what they say when a white coach gets fired. They part ways. It was a mutual decision. I'm like, really? You know, and black coaches get fired. It's like, all right, nigga, go home. He fired. You know what I mean? They'll put it in all caps. Fired. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn. Pink slip. But yeah, man, it's it's this is just what it is, bro. There's nothing you can really do. And like I say, I, I hope Brian Flores brings this back up again. You know, like the NBA, NFL was able to get him back a job and keep his mouth shut. And he played along with it. And he's been pretty quiet pretty much to the whole season. But now is the perfect time for him to bring this back up. It's like, yo, what the hell is this, man? This is a joke. This this hurts the credibility not only for the Colts but the NFL. The fact that y'all going this you don't have any, so it, this is supposed to be a special position. It's only thirty two of these, and this job title, NFL head coach, is only thirty two positions in the whole world. Thirty two, and somebody with no experience gets to be a part of that. That's crazy. Only thirty two people, men, get to do this, and somebody who has no experience just said, "Fuck it, it's mine." Because the owner got me. You know what I mean? For all we know, Jeff might be married to his, you know, his daughter's, you know, friend or something. You don't know. But, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about Jeff Saturday becoming the new head coach of the Indianapolis Colts.